Hey, what is up, everybody? Good morning and happy Friday. This is, of course, David Pendleton. Well, it's morning here. You know, it's about what is it time here? About 9 18 in the morning where I'm at. Who knows what part of the world you're located in, but it's probably not morning. It could be afternoon, it could be evening. I don't know. But what I do know is something exciting is happening today because on Ultimate Golf, they have released their update to where you can now get yourself involved in a club. So if we take a look at Ultimate Golf here, we have the Country Club feature on the bottom right hand corner of the home screen. And you're gonna see right here, you can create your own club, you can join a club, whatever you wanna do, the choice is yours. But it'll be nice to have some teams put together, it'll be competitive, it'll be fun. And we can see here, that you can have up to 25 people as part of your team. You're gonna be earning points through head-to-head -head play, so tour play, you're earn points in tournament play, and also, of course, in the Ultimate Royale events. So many different ways to earn points, that's awesome. Here, let's take a look at some of the different features, though, if you would like to create your own club. So here, you can see when you go to the Create Club feature, you are able to design your logo, you have a club name, whatever you want to name your team or your club, more to say. Uh, let's see here with the logos. We'll take a look at what we have as far as availability goes. We see a cool little tiger here, shark, dinosaur. I'm not going to say them all out loud. You can kind of scroll through and see what you see. Some definitely some unique images though, which are really cool. Uh, some different things that we haven't seen before on games like this. And it even looks like you have the ability to possibly upload your own custom image. So if we click there, it says that the feature is not available right now. So that might come as some part of update. But that would be cool to be able to uh, really probably just upload your own type of image that you create. Or that maybe even you possibly pull off the internet. Um, you know, more details to come as far as that goes. So you can see here, uh, just kind of going through the different options that you have available. You can make your club private, you can have it public, you can have it closed, whatever you'd like to do. And of course you can submit the um, type of players that you would like to join your plan. If you want anybody to join, you can just have a selected an amateur. If you want to be selective with the history or the type of players that you have, uh, join your clan. You can obviously filter through there and pick the type of people that you would like to have uh, the ability to join your team. And then you go ahead and put in the description whatever you would like people to know about your clan or your club. So as people are, you know, playing the game and they're checking out your club, you can put a description here and let people know what you're all about. Are you the type of team that just wants to play and hustle and grind all day long? Is it 100% you know, uh, tournaments required, royale events required? If you're the one creating the clan, if you're gonna be the clan, the team leader, the club leader, that's gonna be completely up to you on what you want that to look like, okay? So that's pretty cool. And then here you can see that I have one message as Radu has invited me to join their team. So some of us streamers are all gonna get together and be part of the same country club which we are excited about. So I am going to go ahead and join his club. He was the one who put it all together for us. Right now it's under his name. Uh, however, we are going to be changing the though to have something united for the streamers that will be joining the team. So if you're interested in joining the team, please get a hold of one of us, whether it's me, whether it's him. You can put it in our comments. You know how to reach us on Facebook. Let us know what your thoughts are on the country clubs, and if you'd like to team up with us, that would be awesome. Let's take a look at the member list so far. All right, very cool. So a few streamers in there already. And then also, you know, you have the chat feature as well. They're gonna go through the disclosure, making sure that you're minding your P's and Q's. But here we go. Very cool, so we're gonna go in here, and then I guess I'm gonna chat, tell everybody that I'm here. All right, cool, so that's it. That's just a small breakdown of the country clubs, what it does, how it works, how you can create or even join a team that's out there and available, but now it's time to get down to business. It's time to play some tournaments, it's time to see what we can do as far as moving up the Ultimate Cup standings. So if we take a look at where we're at here, in second place still, been stuck in second place for about a week. 
but we can see that I did move up on the tournament standing. So there's two different categories here. You have the tournaments and you have the Royale. I've been on second on Royale for a while, but now I am third on the tournaments, okay? And I was sitting there at fifth for a little bit. I've had some tournament success lately, taking down some nice uh, first place finishes. Of course, the Lee Westwood, that was a pretty easy first place finish. Um, you can kind of go through here and see the top finishes that I've had so far. But uh, overall, been very fun. We're going to play some tournaments today. We're going to open up this bag here that we have available. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Vivek? How are you, buddy? Appreciate you stopping on and saying hi. Also, thank you for renewing your membership to the channel. I'm very, very appreciative of that. Also, my friend, I just uh, hope that you saw that I did go ahead and join the country club that you're a part of, that Radu had built earlier today. So it's awesome to team up with you, my friend, and join forces. What we're going to do here real quick, though, is we're going to hop into one head-on-head -head match. Uh, just going to play a little tour two real quick, just kind of get warmed up. And then what I would like to do is play the Royale Avenge, which should be started here in about six minutes. So we'll go ahead and get warmed up. And then we'll play some matches. Or some tournaments, I should say. All right, starting off on a par five. I haven't really moved up too far into the tours yet. I've just kind of been hanging out. Um, I've been playing a lot of tournament events, so that's kind of where most of my time goes right now. You know, the tournaments, you can really win just a ton of amazing premium balls. You can win a ton of coins, especially based off your entry fee. Uh, but most importantly, you can also earn a lot of club cards away uh, there as well, especially uh, when it comes to the blue and red tournament events, which I'll show you how cool those prizes are. Hey, what is up, Radu? Thanks for stopping in and saying hi, buddy. Thank you for welcoming me to the team. Very cool of you to put together a country club for some of the, obviously some of our subscribers and obviously uh, some of the other streamers as well. It's cool to join forces. Bring my tools. Well, buddy, I'm going to. I'm actually going to hop in here in just a minute. I'm going to play some tournaments and a Royale event and then I'm going to take a look at the country club and kind of see how we look as far as that goes too. It's an easy chip in there. Geez, the backspin just got the best of me, right? All right, so here we go. We're going to be heading to the tiebreaker now. Oh, nice job on that on getting your driver there to a level three. I don't even have that one unlocked yet, but it's probably because I'm hanging out in the lower tours of the game so far. Really focusing on my tournament play, getting good at that. And here you see now we're going to a tiebreaker. Hopefully we get something good out of this, meaning a win. Yes, the Royale starts here in just a few minutes. I was kind of playing just a head to head game here real quick before that got started. Ultimate shot. Let's see where this thing lands. Good enough to pick up the win as our opponent there was stuck in the rough. All right, let's head in here. You see, we have two minutes till the random royale starts. 125 coins to get in. The prizes are absolutely stacked in these things, which is really cool. Definitely one of my favorite features of the game by far is participating in the Royale events. We got about a minute and a half, so let's go check out the Country Club again. Let's see what happens where it takes us to. All right.
I'm just kind of going through here. Yeah, that'll work, Radu. Any help is much appreciated, my friend. All right. If the mic is a little bit off, it's because I'm kind of far away from my device, so I don't know if that's any better for everybody. Hopefully it is. But let's hop back over here before I miss the event. Okay, 36 seconds left. I think we're going to be good. Hopefully we hit some ultimate shots here and we get ourselves in good position to pick up some awesome prizes. Second countdown until this party starts. All right, now we'll get to go in here and see who's in the list. I don't see anybody that I know. I'm sure Radu is playing, but unfortunately, we did not get bracketed together here. All right, two minutes on the clock. The game is getting ready to start. Let's see what goes down. Well, I was a little slow with that shot there. <laughs> What's up, Jared, my friend? Thanks for becoming a member of the channel, man. That's very, very kind of you. That means a lot. I definitely appreciate that. Here we hit another great shot, so I think we're going to be okay as far as the balance goes. Get in the hole, baby. There it is. In the cup. Right now, that's doing the top six shots. So basically, what's going to happen here is we're going to take as many shots as possible, okay? But as far as the score goes, it's only going to count the top six shots that we pick. There's a little bit unlucky as we smack the pin, unfortunately. And we kind of roll off pretty far. Ultimate shot again. Let's see if we can't get another one in the hole. Come on now. All right, that's going to be a really good shot, though. Obviously, anything between you know a couple feet away from the hole is going to be really nice. Uh-oh, great shot. Let's see if we get a good bounce. We got a great bounce. Oh, and we just go a little bit too fast over the hole, actually. It was dead on the cup. Just kind of zoomed in a little bit fast on us. But you can see here on the right-hand side where the green bar is, that's our cutoff zone. We're very fine. We're absolutely going to be moving on to the next round. And that's all that's important in rounds one and two. Now, sometimes there is only two rounds, but the only important thing is, is just to make sure that you do advance to the next round. Your scores are not going to carry over to the next round. So getting first place or the cutoff spot is really all the same at the end of the day. Here we have just a couple seconds left. ultimately that was going to be a strong uh, event so far to start off with we might have qualified at the top spot and we did not bad but like I said you know it doesn't matter if you're in first place or if you're in 25th place the only thing that matters is that you move on to the next round this is going to be a three round event so now this time the top 13 people are going to make it on to the next part of the game Same thing, same concept. Top six shots. They're going to take those top six shot scores, combine them together, and that's what you get for your final score of each round. Now the top 13 are going to advance. There's 25 of us moving on to the second round. We can see here we're starting off in the rough. Get ready to apply your spins, and then get ready to shoot as fast as possible. All right, ultimate shot to start off. Really good speed. We're going to leave that one right at the cup, which is going to be nice. Hey, what's up, Gator? How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping in, my friend. 
See if we can't get one in the hole. So here we're going to be using our wedge. That means the needle speed is going to be a little bit slower. If you could get good at stopping it from left to right, that would give you just a massive advantage to fire off more shots. That's going to be a really nice shot, though, from that part of the field. Getting it right next to the cup from that range is always good. Hey, what's up, Zeus? How you doing? Still the same thing, though. We're having a really good second round. We're leaving most shots between two to three feet of the cup. It does show us right now that we're in the first position, so, you know, halfway through uh, the round, we obviously feel good that we're going to be going on to the next part, the final round of the competition. And we just saw an opponent there put one in the cup, so good shot for them. We haven't put one in the cup yet on this round. We did in the first round. Let's see, with 33 seconds left, if I can get two of these shots to be top six and kind of just strengthen our score a little bit. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that's going to be important is that we move on. Gator, I completely disagree with you on the game, buddy. I think the game is a ton of fun. I mean, look at this right here, dude. This is just a really cool event, man. Like, this definitely breaks up the monotony of, you know, grinding nonstop and tournaments nonstop. This is a fun event. You can really build up your clubs by playing this event. You can build up your coins. Uh, I find the game to be just a, a lot of fun. Okay, so now we finish in the top two spots in round one and round two, you know. Um, but, again, none of it matters. It's all going to come down to the final round. But, as always, Gator, my friend, I do appreciate your support. A hundred percent. All right, final round. Now we really need to put a ball in the hole. It typically takes, you know, getting a hole out in order to get first place. We are starting from the sand this time, a little bit different. So always look where you're starting at before the round gets started. It's a really good shot to get things started, obviously right there within three feet of the cup. That's a good start. Kind of a long range or a little bit of a longer range rough iron here. I'm gonna roll a little bit too far, didn't offset enough. We've already seen some really good shots from the opponents. So we've got to scramble here to get our to get our score up. Still going a little bit long. That's not gonna. That's not gonna do any good here. All right. Let's see if we can get close here out of the sand. Hmm. Still rolling a little bit long. Come on now. We need some good luck, everybody. We need some better shots than this. All right, this time I set my target a little further back. And then I come up a little bit short. Well, I don't think we're going to get a number one spot. Hopefully we can finish here in the top three. We'd have to catch some seriously awesome shots here in order to even think about getting first. But of course, isn't that how it goes? You dominate the first and second rounds. And then when it comes down to what really matters... We just don't put it together. 13 seconds left. I do think we can get one more shot off. That's going to be too far away. Whoo, barely got that shot off with one second left. Roll, roll, roll. That'll be a top six shot, though. So it will strengthen our score a little bit. We didn't get first place. We did get second. Look at that. We barely, barely got edged out. Mm. Very, very close. 
But remember, it only cost us 125 coins to get in. We picked up some sand wedge clubs. High flight is a good ball. We got one of our spider balls back. We used three in that. There are the coins. And okay, we earned our first club points, picking up six club points for second place there on the Royale event. Good job, Casual. You barely edged us out. We will see you next time. Okay, so that's that. Let's go back to the country clubs and see if it's updated my points there. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep, we have 22 points so far. So we must have won some points for the head-to-head -head competition as well. Good morning, Chef. How are you, my friends? I hope you're doing well. Okay. All right, cool. Now let's go into the tournaments and see what we can do. Now, I was talking earlier about tournament play and how if you have success in tournaments, you can really build up your, you know, obviously your ball selection and your club cards. The ultimate golf shootouts, the red and blue tournaments, these are a great way to build up your coins and also uh, your club cards. And the reason that I say that is because it only costs 2,500 coins to get into this tournament. Now take a look at what happens here if you get yourself, you know, a top five spot. You earn over 100,000 coins, getting all the way up to 180,000 coins for first place. On top of that, you pick up a really sweet diamond bag. It has six epic cards in it, 33 rare and 43 common. This is definitely a great way to build up your clubs, okay? Now, if you're looking to build up your balls, you can always go to the other tournaments, which we're gonna see here. If we take a look at the info, now look at the rewards here. A first place finish gives you 32 amateur balls. That's a great, great premium ball in the game. And also 72 Mojave balls, which is a power seven ball. And also, again, one of the upper balls in the game. Now those Mojave balls you can actually buy in the shop if you want to with your cash, or you can win a ton of them here as well. And it is one of the more middle road balls to buy with cash. So these prizes are absolutely stacked, which is really nice, okay? So, you know, what we will do here is we're gonna go ahead, I've already qualified for the Golf Madness event, but let's go ahead and play the Tour Stop Classic. We're gonna enter it for 12,500 coins. And then we also saw the amount of uh, club points that we can win too with the tournament's uh, structure. This is an 18-hole 18 18 event, I should say. And we're starting off with a par four. So let's get this thing started. On the first couple of holes, you know, unless there's a par five, I try to just use some of the some of the smaller balls in the game, the ones that aren't expensive, like a cruiser and the um, spider ball. Because the thing is, if I mess up, then you know I can always go in here and just restart my rounds. But we do start off with an overpowered ultimate shot, which is really nice. Yes, and as Radu says, this is an 18 hole tournament comprised of three different rounds. So with this type of ball, that's really good distance on the drive for sure. I'm happy with that. That's gonna bring us to our wedge. Now my wedge game is not great. Oh, I do have a tree line here in the way. That's not fun. Hmm. Well, this might be a situation to where we're gonna be restarting <laughs> pretty early. Let's see if we can swing it around and get onto the green, but if not, we'll just restart. Yeah, we're not gonna keep that shot. Uh, obviously on the fringe, we're not picking up any points. So now we kind of know a layout of hole number one. We're gonna restart for free, but now we have to be very careful because I should have looked at that beforehand. There is only three replays available in this round. 
which is not a lot for an 18 hole event. So we're gonna have to uh, step it up and really not make any, mis mis uh, any mistakes now. Okay, so let's go here to the spider ball this time. And what we wanna do is make sure that we stay out of the tree line. So now we're just gonna go ahead and drive to the left-hand side of the fairway. Yeah, Brad, dude, you're a veteran. I think you, oh goodness, David. That's what I get for talking and playing at the same time. Okay, well, we're just gonna restart again. <laughs> we're gonna leave ourselves in a pickle as far as not making mistakes. Radu, I think you started the game maybe a week or two before me, or maybe even much longer or much earlier before me. That's why you're probably up divisions. I've only been playing the game now for, I think, three weeks. Okay, now I've gotta get focused here, everybody. I gotta get focused. I gotta hit some good shots. Some ultimate shots, I should say. All right, let's focus. No overpower this time. No overpower, standard shot. Stop. Oh my goodness, I am rolling, I'm playing terrible, but I think we're gonna be able to make it onto the green, thank goodness. Uh, how did you start one day before me if you're a veteran? Is is that the next series? Is it does it not go from rookie to pro? Alright, here we go. Now we're in, now we're good. Alright, now we're off to a better start. I don't really check the standings until it's a little bit deeper in the 18 hole event here. Okay, now we have our par five. This is where we do use the good ball. So, you know, I've won quite a few of these rookie trophy balls in tournaments. So I'm gonna use that ball here. Kind of look at the course layout. We have a tree here in the way. Oh, I see, thank you, Vivek. So a veteran is next, good to know. All right, here we just need to get distance, but we also need a good shot. We can't afford to shank the drive. All right, we did go with a ton of overpower and we do hit the ultimate shot, which is nice. And now we'll have to look and see what this tree situation looks like. It looks like I'm staring dead at that tree, so we'll see what happens. Ah, okay, all right, I see, thanks, Jared. All right, we're gonna go full backspin here. The pin is on the right-hand side, so let's see what this shot looks like. You just have to be really careful with this tree. We'll use a little bit of right curl too. We've already got a ton of right side spin on. At least we hit an ultimate shot. You know, I think it's gonna be just really important that we just land on the green on this shot because we'll get a ton of points by doing so. But that's a really good shot. I mean, we're gonna take that all day. 1600 points there, we need to putt in. Good. Good use of the ball, didn't waste it. We maximize our points, picked up the eagle, which is super important, as we only have two par fives on the front nine of this hole, of this tournament. All right, brings us on to our next par four here. We'll go back to the spider ball.
used quite a bit of OP on that drive as well. Just trying to get as many yards as possible. That's a pretty wide fairway. So we definitely had wiggle room for a great ball. All right, let's see how we can line this up here. All right, thanks, Jared. I appreciate it, man. I hope you have a great Friday and an awesome weekend. All right, we lined it up. We hit an ultimate shot, so now let's see what happens. Where's this ball going to come in at? Sit next to the pin. Very nicely. We'll take that all day. 856 points is awesome. Gator, I've hit a few of those uh, live on stream, bud. I mean, anything is point and shoot uh, at early stages of the game. I mean, we just have to be honest. You know, every game's like that. Until you start to really develop your clubs and get the better clubs in the game, uh, the game is a lot of point and shooting, but that's how all golf games are. Um, until you start to get clubs with better golf ball guidelines or shot views. Um, so... You know, that should be something that we're familiar with. Uh, like myself, I'm only three weeks into the game. I, I can't really expect that I'm going to be able to dial in every single club. Um, you know, so. You know, like if you were to start a new Golf Clash account, right, and go to the beginner clubs and sit there and use a dart and, and the very entry level clubs, yeah, you're going to have an idea of how to use them because you have so much experience in that game. But if it was a brand new player to any golf game and they're sitting here only three weeks in um, and they haven't dedicated the amount of time like I have in previous games, uh, everything is point and shoot to begin with. All right, let's see. This one looks a little tricky here. We're we'll put a little side spin to the left on. You know, really playing this one so close to the water line. It's just going to be important that we land on the green. Try to get those points. Ooh, hit a great shot. Didn't want that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that. Terrible shot. <sighs> I'm not going to restart, though. Because really, it's just going to be important that we make it to the next round. Which I'll make it to the next round for sure. And then I'll get a better score in round two and then the final round as well. All right, at least we had an ultimate shot this time. That's what we were trying to do on shot number one. Darn it, now we're going to pick up a par. All right. Vivek yesterday got 899 points on a par three in the tournament. That means you left it right at the pin. All right, I can try that, Vivek. Thank you for the advice. But again, this is really, you know, round one. You don't have to put like too much pressure on yourself to go out here and crush it because you have two more rounds. Uh, Gator, there is not. There's not a standard uh, wind per ring. Uh, there is an app for the game which is called Guide for Ultimate Clash. Or <laughs> Guide for Ultimate Golf, sorry. Um, guide for Ultimate Golf. Right, here we need to change our bag with this being a par 5 I should have used a premium ball I would have normally used a premium ball 
but because of that uh, par that I picked up on a hole number four there, I'm not gonna use any premium balls the rest of the round. All I'm gonna do is just focus on making it to the next round, which will be no problem uh, to do. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this shot with a different club. We're gonna use this club here because it has a ton of topspin available. And then I think I'm gonna go in and play a full red or blue tournament. But really I wanted to hop on here today to show everybody uh, that they do have the country club available so you're able to join or start a team, which is awesome. You know, I know that has been highly anticipated. That's been a really common question to me. You know, a lot of people asking, are there clans available? Uh, not called clans, it's called the country club. So make sure now that you check that out since they are here. I don't know if we're gonna have enough there to get past that sand, so yep. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in and play now the red or blue tournament. Uh, because that's only nine holes. It's a single round tournament, and I'm really going to focus on winning that one. Here, I don't really want to waste anybody's time who's watching now that I'm just simply just trying to make the cut line. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in, and then I'm going to play one full nine hole tournament and see if we can pick up a top spot on that. All right, here we go. If you haven't tried the game yet, or if you've tried it before in the past and you don't play it anymore, uh, you know, try it again. I mean, I think it's a lot of fun. I think you're gonna see a lot more people playing it now that there's a lot of us out here streaming it, okay? Also, in the description to the video is a link to, uh, is my personalized link where you can download the game. So please use my link if you're gonna give Ultimate Golf a try. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the blue tournament. It's only nine holes. And now, nine hole tournament, instant gratification. This tournament's gonna end, you know, you saw the hours there, like 10, 11, 12 hours, whatever it was. You get to go in there and collect your rewards right, right away. So it's very cool playing a tournament and then also getting your rewards in the same day. Hey Sky, welcome to the channel. First time seeing this game looks pretty cool. It is definitely cool. Uh, I like it a lot. I wouldn't sit on here and BS anybody. I think a lot of people know that about me. I give my honest opinion, and this game to me is a ton of fun, okay? It really is. Sky, if you're gonna check the game out, please look in the description to this video, and you see my link there that will take you to your App Store or your Google Play Store to download the game. It would mean a lot to me if you use my personalized link to download it. And of course, the game is free to download. What I would like to do here is I would like to play hole number one. I would like to save my progress in the tournament. And then I would like to go play the next Royale event, which starts in just a couple minutes. So let's see if we can hurry up and fire off this shot here. And then save our game and then head out to that event. Especially for Sky, since this is the first time checking out the game, I think you'll find the event really cool. I almost picked up uh, Eagle there for you, Gator. Very close. Just went right over the top of the hole. All right, here we go. So we're going to save our progress here. We're going to head out to the main screen and we're going to enter the Royale event real quick. Going to get there just in time as there's under a minute left.
Let's see how we do here. Hopefully we can pick up a top spot and earn some more points for our club. All right, 10 seconds until game time. I think this time I gotta sit a little bit closer to my screen so I can really focus in on that final round there. Yeah, Josh, I can do some big shots. I've got three big shots ready to go. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's get this thing going. What's up, Jeffrey? How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping in. All right. We're going to be on the fairway using our wedge here. So the way this event breaks down, again, if this is your first time seeing the game, there's about 50 players playing right now, and we're trying to just take as many shots as possible within two minutes. And our shots, depending on how close you get to the hole, is how many points you get. How many points you get totaled up is going to determine whether or not you make it through the next rounds. Here I'm off to a slow start. I need to pick up the pace. Let's go. Look at all these ball guys. Look at all these arcs. There's mass confusion out here. That's going to be a really nice shot, though. So we'll take that all day. Like I said, anything within three feet typically is going to be really good. And hopefully you can hit some ultimate shots and get the ball into the hole. Ooh, that one got the best of me. Come on, Dave, let's go. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna drop us down quite a bit. You can see the bar there on the left, on the right-hand side that kind of shows where you're at. Now, the most important thing to note is you don't have to get first place. All you have to do in the first couple rounds is just make it to the final round. Your points do not carry over to the final round. So it doesn't matter if you're in first place in the first round or it doesn't matter if you're in 25th place in the first round. What does matter is that you make the cut. Okay, that's it. That's the one I put it in the sand on the first time. So this time I put a little bit more power on the ball. We're gonna roll past the pin, but at least we're picking up points and not in the sand getting no points. Now this one is a little bit different than the first one that I played, okay? The first one that I played, it only took your top six shots and combined them. This one is taking all of your shots and combining them for the score. So super important on these to fire off as many shots as possible in that two minutes, all right? So here you can look at the standings. The top 25 are gonna move on to round two. And again, it doesn't matter if you're in 25th or first, it's all the same. The only time your standings matter is when you're in the final round, because of course, of course uh, there's a difference from first place prizes to 13th place prizes. So now we're taking the top 25 to round two. The top 13 are going to advance to the next round. And we're going, we're going out of the sand to start. So always look before the game gets started here while the round is initializing to see where you're shooting from. For me, I use my left hand to set the spin. I'm a backspin player, and then I use my right hand to take the shot. Again, as fast as possible is good. Ultimate shot to start off. That's a great looking shot right there. We'll be within about three yards, two yards of the pin, so we'll take that to get this thing started. Looks like a player is already in the hole. I saw the whole explosion light up, so somebody already made it in. These are a really tr strong two shots for us to start off. There's an ultimate shot there. Boom, get in the hole, baby. In the cup for 1,400 points. That is a huge amount of points. Every shot so far, I think we're four shots in, maybe five shots in, and everything is coming right at the pin, looking really, really sharp here so far to get this round started. Another ultimate shot. 
Uh, look in the description. You'll see it, Sky. Um, or just hang tight. After this event, I'll post it in the comments because it does mean a lot to me if you use my link. I appreciate you looking, but I'll make it easy for you. I'll post it here in just a few minutes after this event ends. Ultimate shot. Come on now. Ah, it's going to stop short. 20 seconds left. Come on. We got to be fast. I'm just going to shoot as fast as possible. Hopefully I can get off one more shot. 10 seconds. Come on. 8. Come on, game. 4. Oh, my gosh. I got to hurry. Oh, I messed up. Ah, so close. Okay, so let's get this together here. The last round. Last round, final round, and then I'll post that link for you. Yeah, I don't think you can copy and paste, unfortunately, but I appreciate that, William. This is a harder shot to start off with. I didn't try to do anything too fancy there. I just wanted to get the shot out of the way. Come on now. Let's get this thing moving. Hurry. That's going to be a really nice shot from that distance. We'll take 800 points there. So a lot of these shots here so far are with our um, wedge. They're pretty deep. You can see their opponents in the sand. So we're going to be picking up some great points. Uh, we'll take that all day from that, from that area. We hit an ultimate shot here. Oh, we got a bad kick. That's going to kill us. Gosh darn it. That's going to hurt us on the standings, unfortunately. Anytime you don't get points in the final round, you're going to have an extremely difficult time picking up a win. But let's see if we can just fire off a bunch of shots, see how close we can get. Fourteen seconds left. We're only going to have time for one more shot. And we don't pick up any points. I was in a hurry to get the shot off. Ah, <sighs> But it was fun. All right. Let me see here if I can get that link posted for you, Sky, and anybody else who wants to try to play. Third place, unfortunately, two shots that I did not get onto the green to pick up points. Sometimes this is how it goes, but that's a lot of fun. And there's our rewards for the game. All right, let me go in here real quick and get my link. And then we'll, we'll continue the rest of that tournament that I was playing there. Let me get my wood club that I like to use. Almost there, almost there, everybody. All right, 
is there, and you read my mind, William, it is pinned. So there's the link to download the game. Get downloaded, give it a shot. See how you like it, I love it. All right, so now we're gonna go five and a half mile per hour wind. Got our nice little long iron out. Oh man, that was terrible on that shot. Great shot. Definitely don't want that. You know, my goal here on tournament par fours is to get 800 points per hole. All right, if you can get 800 points per hole, that's gonna get you really good as far as tiebreaker goes. And then if you can get at least 1,600 points on the par fives, that'll put you into a strong position as well. Now, when it comes to the red and blue tournaments, a top five spot is my goal. Do I want to win first place? Of course I do. Uh, am I going to sit here and use a ton of premium balls to make it happen every time? No. I'm going to save my premium balls for the big multi-round tournaments in which you can win premium balls back, okay? and a ton of other rewards along the way. But on par fives, I always use one of my premium balls, and I like to use the rookie trophy ball because I've won a bunch of them in trophies, so you can see, or in tournaments. You can see here that we have 55 of them. It's a really nice ball from power and a side spin perspective. And here we're gonna go with the overpower. We need a lot of yards on par fives to try to get to the green in two shots. That was a max overpower shot. I hit a slight great shot to the left. Hopefully we've got enough fair room or fair way to get away with it. It looks like we do. 293, that's gonna leave us for a pretty long shot number two. But it's always nice when your target is this close to the green on the second shot on the par fives. Here, we're just gonna to try to play it safe, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna play it with max backspin, max side spin to the left, and we're gonna use left curl. Awesome, thank you, Sky, I appreciate that. All right, we do hit an ultimate shot at least. We got the timing right on this one. We got right at that 1,600 points, so that's not bad. Now we have to complete it by making the putt for eagle, which we do. So let's see what the top scores are so far. This will change quite a bit, okay. So again, you know, we would like to get a top five spot because that's where the best prizes are. And let's kind of take a look at how many par fives we have on this event here. So we have, we have two more par fives coming, which means as long as we play the course pretty well, we could get ourselves to a minus 12. And a minus 12 typically in the uh, division that I'm in here, rookie, is typically enough to uh, make it into the top five spots. Uh, William, you know, it was a mixed bag for me, uh, to be honest. Uh, actually, I played really well in the pro division. Uh, I was all over the place in rookie, as I just had a, I hit so many great shots. You know, it, it became really, really frustrating, but I played really strong in pro, which I feel good about. All right, so now we're taking our shot with our wedge here.
There we go. There's our 800 points. We'll take that. Okay. So I think the next hole was a par three. Yep, par three and then the very, very important par five. a click a backspin here not too much maybe that's too much well good luck on your rounds but I hope you shoot well definitely a challenge this week Hey Vincent, how are you? I uh give me one second. Boy, these great shots are driving me crazy. Uh, I did not start a club, so I actually joined uh, Radu's club. So some of us streamers are getting together uh, just to kind of unite and be on the same club. The club is open though, if you'd like to come in. You know, the details are at the beginning of this video, as you saw me join the club. Hey, that's awesome. I appreciate that, Irish Trucker. Thank you very much. Uh, at the beginning stages, it is Sky, but there is a ring system. Uh, guide for Ultimate Golf is in the Play Store you can download. So there is a ring system. Um, also, right, give me one second here, because... I'm putting something else in the comments here real fast, so bear with me. Uh, that is my friend code right there. If you write that down, take a picture of it, do whatever you want. If you're playing this game, please add me as a friend in the uh, friend section of the game. So that's really important to do as well. But like I said, I just put my friend code in the comments. So if you're playing the game and you haven't added me yet, please do so. All right, we're gonna gamble here. We're gonna go with the overpowered shot and see if we can hit ultimate. Which we don't again. So if I'm being honest with myself, you know, I'm definitely not playing to the best of my potential. It's just gonna be important that we land on the fairway so again, we do get away with the great shots. We are on the fairway, 300 yards is good on the par five. Should leave us for another good opportunity to hopefully pick up the eagle here. I think the name of the club right now is TG Radu, but he is going to be renaming it uh, since a lot of us streamers are getting together and all being part of the same clan. We just kind of want it to be something unified rather than something solely specific to one streamer. All right here I got this little tree in my way. All right, cool, awesome Irish trucker. Oh, 
would have been awesome if it would have just boom bounced right into the cup. It was pretty close though. Just three holes left, everybody, and then I'll let you get back to your Friday. We've got a lot of family stuff to do today. But I will be pretty confident as long as we can get to a minus 12. We'll be sitting at one of the top spots, picking us up at least a top five finish, which is where all the best prizes are. It's always important for me, right, to have a good balance on games, right? Uh, like, for example, you know, on these red and blue tournaments, I'm completely fine with a top five finish. I'm not going to stress myself out trying to get first every single event. Now, the multi-round events, those are the ones that I really put supreme focus and effort into because I do want to win those. I do want the first place on the multi-round event. The prizes are absolutely huge. Uh, they'll get you a good boost in the Ultimate Cup as well, uh, the monthly Ultimate Cup. these great shots are going to be the death of me today. Timing is off today, but I'm also pretty tired as this is a long, long, grueling week for me. All right, two holes left. This one should be a par three, I believe, and then we head off to our last par five. We're going to need a more powerful ball to not be in between clubs. So we'll switch to the Mojave ball and see if this is the ball we want to use. All right, we're going to see how this shot comes in. Hopefully we don't we don't bomb this here. Oh, is that right? That's a lot of coins for the rookie blitzes. That's huge. Get in the hole! Oh my gosh, 8.98. Oh, we left it right at the pin. You see, Gator? There we go. I was using the ring system there. That was pretty darn close to dropping it. Ha! Ah, that'd have been huge. That'd have been a huge drop right there to pick up a hole in one. Boy, it's just a shame we haven't been playing that well all tournament, right? Looks like if we pick up the eagle here, we'll be sitting in fourth place. And that'll probably stand the rest of the tournament. So one more time with this hole. Little, most max top spin, a little bit of side spin to the right. Just to counter effect that little baby wind push that we're getting. Another great shot to the left. I feel like I'm not going to get away with this one. But I do. No problem. All right, 294. So it's close to that 300 that we've been getting. Pin is located this time on the back left, which is nice. That's the best pin position we've had so far on this hole. 
Really gives us a good opportunity to attack the pin straight up here. Here we shouldn't have any problem landing on the green and picking up big points. Finally hit an ultimate shot. All right, give me one second, Irish. I will get in there and add you as well. So you see here we finish up with a really, really strong hole number eight and hole number nine. It's just unfortunate I couldn't put it together on a couple of the other par fours earlier in the tournament. But now we'll take a look at the standings. I think I'll be in fourth place. Yep, fourth place. You know, uh, it's really going to come down to holes one, two, five. Holes one, two, and five. Uh, not enough points for the tiebreaker. You know, if I would have just got my 800 per hole goal, then I'd be sitting in second place. But... If we take a look at the rewards for second place and for fourth place, you're not going to see a significant difference. That is why I don't put a lot of pressure on first to fifth. Okay, so check this out. Here's what I mean by that. Look at the rewards. All right, so first and fifth is just a coin difference. Now I have a couple million coins, so I'm not going to worry about you know the coins. But if we take a look at the first place prizes, look at that, 43 common clubs, 33 rare six epics, okay? Look at fifth place. It's the exact same thing. So that's all I care about. I only play the red and blue tournaments uh, because I'm looking to get a bunch of club cards at once by using you know, not a lot of resources as far as good balls go. So uh, that's, what I, that's how I look at that. That's the same thing for the red tournament as well. Now obviously when you take a look at a big multi-round tournament like this and we look at the prizes, these are the ones you know I'm gunning for uh, because they are going to boost you in the ultimate cup standings. So yes, there's not a lot of difference right between first place and even fifth place on these, but there is a difference on the point value when it comes to the monthly ultimate cup, which is gonna be located right here on your home screen that I'm in second place in. To my knowledge, the Red Cup and the Blue Shootout Tournaments daily, those don't affect your Ultimate Cup rankings. I'm pretty sure they don't. I could be wrong. Um, connect with friends. All right, Irish Trucker, let me get you in here, bud. 4PX, NDY, NDY, 93, done. Oh, oh I typed it in wrong. I see what I did. What? Now it's listening to me. What in the world? Why is it picking up my my sound? All right, Irish Trucker, I got you in there, my friend. Hey, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you check out the country clubs. I hope you learned a little bit more about tournament play and my overall strategy on how I attack the game in tournaments. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next time. Please hit that thumbs up button before you leave. Subscribe and use the link to download the game as well. Had to get that in there before I left.